What's going on, folks? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. I'm Jordan Fromer, your host and guide for this waterfowl season. Today, we're going to be going over the waterfowl preseason checklist, the things that you have forgot to do before duck season, and you need to do them now before it's too late. Alrighty, but before we jump into the video, guys, if you are new here, make sure you hit that sub button. We got content coming at you all season long from September to the end of February. It is my passion to film and post all of my waterfowl hunt videos, so you don't want to miss them. Also, guys, if you enjoy duck hunting audio form podcasts, check out the Duck Gun Podcast. You won't regret it. All right, let's go ahead and jump on into the video. So, like I said, guys, today's video is the checklist. The things that you forgot to do before waterfowl season. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. And the first one that you have forgot to do, it's opening day, you're packing up, ready to go, is you forgot to check your spinning wing decoys. And this is all too often that happens. You go to charge it and they're not working anymore. You go to turn them on and nothing. They won't spin. Um, doesn't matter what you do. You take the whole dang thing apart and your spinning wing decoys aren't working. So right now, make sure you check those. Um, get those repaired, replaced, ready to go because you don't want to be messing around with it the night before duck season and have issues with that. So one kind of bonus tip on that is that the Lucky Ducks actually have replaceable mod modules and I just found about that recently and replaced some of my modules. Um, and the other thing, you know, other bonus on there, make sure your wings, you have all your wings, they're not broke. Um, and you have the wings you need for your motion or for your uh, spinning wing decoys on that. So the next thing I got is check your choke tubes. Um, all too many times you see on a hunt, somebody wants to switch their choke. Uh, I've seen it happen to Elliot before. Um, he wants to switch uh, to his full choke and, he, and he's just stuck with improved cylinder. Um, so definitely make sure you check your chokes all off season they've been sitting there maybe collecting some rust and they're stuck in your gun i've seen way too many times we're out in hunts people try to take off their choke tubes and they can't um so definitely check that now you can take them do a gunsmith if you actually have a really really bad issue or you can kind of work through it other ways with heat um and really work on them so you want to make sure that your choke tubes are coming out of your gun nice and clean and a pro tip on this as well um, got this one from my grandpa. You want to put oil on the the threads of your choke tube every single time you take it off and put it back on. You want to have oil on those threads. So definitely make sure your choke tubes are good for that. All right, so next we got calls. Um, guys, a lot of times our calls get gunked up. You're walking through the marsh. You have them hanging right here on your chest, and you're walking in really deep water. You don't realize it, and you're getting uh, a bunch of seaweed and, and gunk in your calls, all season long, they're getting real dirty, um, and then they start to lock up, you have issues. So now is the perfect time. We're in off season. Um, you don't wanna be out there opening day and your duck call not working right, your goose call not working right. Take them apart now, run them through some water, um, get them nice and cleaned up and retune them, get them in the perfect spot, and you'll be good to go for your calls. Um, definitely, right now, you don't wanna be caught like that during season. So, this one kind of goes along with the choke, choke tubes, but make sure that your gun is cleaned and cycling perfect. Um, a lot of times, like I said, in season, you get busy, you get going, um, but right now you have plenty, plenty of time to get that gun um, all the way tore down and all the way cleaned up, cycling perfect. Um, and again, if you have real bad cycling issues, you don't want to be um, waiting until you, you don't have... Um, a backup plan, you need your gun and you're just dealing with cycling issues, hunt after hunt. Um, you can get it to a gunsmith, get that figured out, get it sent back to the manufacturer if it's that bad. Um, but yeah, get your gun going, cleaned, and ready to go for season. All right, so the next one we got is inventory for waterfowl shells. Um, guys, if you can buy your shells in bulk, then you know you can buy the cases. All that is going to save you a little bit of money. I know that's not for everybody. Some people like to buy box after box. Just go to single single box, run to Walmart before hunt. Um, so if that's you, this tip might not be for you. But for me, I like to buy my my shells by the case. You know, I run sixes for teal. I run the Boss Bismuth fives for ducks. I've been running Boss uh, threes for geese. Um, so I, I, I would run. So it's a perfect time right now to run your inventory, see what you got, see if you're going to have enough for the season, whether it's your, your till loads, your duck loads, or your goose loads. You can figure it out now and get your ammo. Um, that way you're not caught running back and forth to Walmart all season long. So the last one I got on this, this is your bonus tip, guys. Um, get your blind bag out, get it all the way cleaned out, empty it all the way, 
clean all the trash out of it, clean all the brush out of it, the dirt, everything, and get that thing sorted for duck season. I know for me, I actually personally enjoy doing that. Something kind of fun about the preparation, going through the motions of getting ready for duck season and going through your blind bag is no different on that. Um, but yeah, I would just go through your blind bag, have everything figured out what you want in your blind bag, have it in this place, ready to go and see, you know, maybe you're low on face paint or low on or can't find um, your dog whistle or whatever it might be. But right now is the perfect time. Like I said, you don't want to be the night before season doing all this stuff and bam, you can't find something. Um, you can't even Amazon Prime it in time to get it ready for season. So um, yeah, that's all I got for today, guys. That is my preseason checklist. I'm sure I forgot something, so drop it in the comments below if there's something that I absolutely forgot that we should be doing before season. Um, but that's all we got for today, guys. I'm Jordan Duckin Chronicles. We'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go.